Thanks for rolling up. <coughs> Two Lamar, just certified pot hit. I'll be saying to y'all, bro, that I'm all the way we're smoked out is. I'm all the way we're smoked out is, bro. Like, 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 smoked out is 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 a destination, a location, bro. I just pulled up, bro. I just pulled up to smoked out like like 13 minutes ago. Tonight at 10 o'clock, more than 20 guns and 60 pounds of marijuana were seized from inside this luxury apartment on Jacksonville South Side, and neighbors are just now finding out about the bust. He said, he said 60 pounds and, and, and 20, 20 guns. They say that's a luxury apartment. Oh, what is this? Is this a Gucci bag? Louis Vuitton? What is that? All right, let's see, let's see what's happening around these pieces. That's just crazy. I mean, it's right down the hallway from me. You would never know that it would be that close. And that neighbor asked that we disguise her voice. She's worried for her safety. Disguise her? That was, that was a disguised voice? That sounds like a regular ass motherfucker's voice right there. News from Jack's reporter Eric Avenue is in one of the two locations involved in this narcotics investigation. Eric. Yeah, well, Jacksonville police first raided this west side property off Beaver Street because this is where one of the suspects works. Uh, they eventually then showed up at his south side apartment, which is 20 miles from this location. So hold on. They they arrested a nigga at work. Did did he have weed at work or did, this was like this was like some sting shit? Like like now nah, I mean we know this nigga got weed. We gonna go arrest him at his job and then go search his crib. It probably was some shit like that. It was inside the second floor apartment off Gate Parkway where 21-year-old Trevin Howard and 19-year-old Gabriela Dominguez were arrested as part of an illegal narcotics investigation. Their mugshots were not available when Jacksonville police raided. I'm about to say, why did they show them? Like, you're supposed to be showing them. Their apartment, they say they found 60 pounds of marijuana stuffed in suitcases and boxes. They also found 22 handguns, an AK-47 rifle, a shotgun, cash, and cocaine. Neighbors we spoke. So these motherfuckers was selling weed, cocaine, and guns. Cause there's no reason that you got that many guns. No reason that two people got that many guns. Well, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Because I know niggas they got that many guns. Spoke with were too afraid of retaliation after learning about the guns and drugs discovered in their neighbor's apartment. So we're not identifying them. I think that's absolutely insane. I had no idea any of that was going on. That's just crazy. Why? Are that, that's not those. Those are not disguised voices. Yo, anybody who listens to this is going to know who the fuck those people are, bro. You didn't disguise those voices at all, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's right down the hallway from me. But neighbors who kept a watchful eye were not shocked police showed up here. We aren't surprised, but we were very suspicious about the activities. Another neighbor says she witnessed suspicious activity in this area of the parking lot right under the suspect's second floor window. I have seen hand-to-hand -hand transactions. It's terrifying. Their voice was kind of disguised, but not by much. Prior to the raid on the apartment, police say they executed a search warrant at this auto detailing business on Beaver Street, where Howard reportedly works. One neighbor who was too afraid to have his comments recorded said it was about time police did something. He says he has personally witnessed suspected drug activity at this location. Another neighbor who asked not to be identified says suspected drug activity was always out in the open. Well, <laughs> So my man, 20 miles away from work, 20 miles away from home, doing, doing business. Like, like that's, that's, that's how you're supposed to do it. But 
You, you, you just, get, just didn't give a fuck. Didn't give a fuck, bro. All right. Well, just a lot of different cars and, you know, people, you know, looks like a lot of window deals going on, you know, people walking up to the corner of cars and stuff like that. Telling ass niggas. Now, Howard is already out of jail on a $900,000 bond. He faces a list of drug. 900,000. What is, what is 10% of that? Nine? 90,000? This nigga posted 90,000. This nigga got money, bro. And gun charges. Meanwhile, Dominguez posted a $100,000 bond. She only faces one count of trafficking marijuana. Reporting live from the West Side, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, the local station. All right, so she going home. Dude, dude probably going to sit down for a little bit. All right. 100,000. We get them all out. We get them both out. Get them home for a little bit. They, you know, what I mean, uh, decide how they gonna do, how they gonna do these next couple of years. All right, fuck, bro. You know what I mean, that's 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 the breaks. Those is the breaks. Break it up, break it up, break it up.